Hello guys, so what we're going to do today is we're going to review the Leica ATC2000 microscope. Um, I bought this microscope used from a university. Um, I had a, originally I had a fairly basic microscope uh, with a monocle, uh, monocular headpiece uh, rather than a binocular headpiece and I really wanted the binocular headpiece because whenever I was spending many hours you know, peering into the microscope having one monocular it just wears down your eyes in my opinion a lot faster than if you had a binocular headpiece so but I decided I was going to go on eBay and see how much 200 250 dollars would get me uh, as far as a higher end microscope and uh, to my surprise there was a lot of uh, Zeiss microscopes Olympus uh, Leica which is what I have here um, and this one after shipping I believe I paid about $240 for it um, and this has a lot of great features that I really like it was a great upgrade from the original microscope that I had which was a fairly cheaper microscope um, so I just want to do a review on a used uh, microscope now this one is fairly used it came from Indiana University out of a school auction um, and so it's a good quality microscope. It may be an older microscope, but it's a good quality microscope that's going to last a very long time as long as I take care of it. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Okay, guys, so here's a bit of a close-up of the microscope. Uh, as you can see, it may be fairly difficult to see, but I'll move the camera around so that you can see it a little bit. But what we have is achromatic infinity objectives uh, that prefer a cover slip size of 0.17. Uh, and that is also true of the 100x uh, objective. Um, this microscope does have phase contrast capabilities and mechanical stage. Um, the condenser uh, does move in and out, up and down. Uh, we have a rheostat, uh, our iris and diaphragm. And then of course we have a rotating headpiece which is currently outside of the camera's angle. Um, but let me get a couple of close-up shots for this. That way you can get a better look at it. at some of the images we're gonna look at a few slides here that I've prepared um, I have some pollen grains and I have some uh, mammalian histology slides um, and we're gonna look at image quality because I know that is a, uh, a big deal for somebody who's looking at comparing a Swift between a leg so we're gonna do is use this Amazon phone holder that I use we're just gonna be hooking up the phone to the binocular and I'm going to be showing you some images unfortunately I don't have a cheaper microscope to be able to compare those images to I do have another video of a very cheap microscope that it was a pocket carry microscope and uh, you can and that was a $15 microscope so if you do want to you can go to that video and compare the image quality between this microscope and a $15 microscope but I will say this between a research microscope and a $15 microscope, it's not gonna be a question. It's gonna be very obvious.
view. I hope you appreciated this microscope as much as I do. Uh, just leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any videos that you'd like to see in the future, just leave them down in the comments and I'll see if I can't get to them. Um, all in all, like I said, I really do enjoy this microscope. Um, you could see some of the uh, issues with the lens and stuff like that whenever you're viewing, but for what I'm mainly looking at, which is just looking at prepared slides and some wet mounts and dry mounts, uh, this, this does that very well. So um, we'll see you next time. Thank you.